Welcome back to The Patrick Lane Show, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and real estate. And just a quick video today, guess what? GameStop, uh, Ryan Cohen is uh, going to be the chairman of the board for GameStop after the next uh, board meeting when they uh, intend to nominate him. So that's uh, great news if you are a diamond hand holder of GameStop. Before we talk about that, do me a favor real quick, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. Now, this morning, uh, GameStop put out a, a press release and also, of course, they're filing with the SEC that they are they intend to nominate a new slate of board of directors to replace the old one. We talked about that, how they're going to go uh, drop from uh, 13 members down to a nine-member board. They've already got five members that are going to be the majority for the turnaround. Uh, the new members coming on look like they're going to have some good experience. And in fact, that's probably beyond what we sort of knew was going to happen already, right? We, we anticipated it happening. We thought it was going to happen. We wanted it to happen that Ryan Cohen would become chairman of the board or, you know, a lot of people wanted CEO uh, role for uh, Ryan Cohen, but frankly, I think he can provide the long-term strategy and vision better as chairman of the board than he could as a CEO having to deal with the day-to-day, -day, um, you know, minutia of running the company. But that being said, the important thing, I think, in the announcement this morning is not just that, Le that uh, Ryan Cohen is going to end up being the chairman of the board, which we sort of already knew and was kind of factored in, right? For most of us who are uh, holding or if you're diving hands or uh, that sort of thing, you sort of expected Ryan Cohen to end up being the chairman of the board or the CEO or have some significant role. But it's also very important what else was announced this morning? Number one, the um, shareholder meeting is going to be June 9th. And so that's when they're going to be voting on the new members of the board. So the slate that was put out that includes Ryan Cohen as the potential chairman is going to be voted on on June 9th, which means that everybody who wants to vote on that needs to have possession of those in those shares by uh, not too long from now so that they can actually vote on June the 9th. So if you've got shares out there that aren't uh, recalled, then that needs to happen pretty quickly, I think, right? Number two, uh, the, the two people who are going to be nominated uh, as new members of the board uh, who haven't been involved before are Larry Cheng and Yang Zhu. Now, what's important about those two could actually be as important and more important uh, to Ryan Cohen, even though we really don't know those names as retail investors, but he knows them and he's worked with them in the past. Particularly with Larry Ching, uh, he was one of the uh, early investors in Chewy.com and helped to build that up as a private equity investor uh, for previous Ryan Cohen uh, projects. And so you know that because those two have worked together in the past, and we're able to successfully grow that investment, that business, into uh, a company that was worth billions and got bought out for billions, focused on e-commerce and the digital marketplace, that that's the sort of thinking, the vision, the strategy that is going to be brought forward to the board with uh, Larry Ching being a part of it. Now, who is Yang Zhu? Well, if you look at what she's done before, it's clear that this person is a focus on international commerce. So not just e-commerce, not just the United States or Canada um, being a marketplace for digital and e-commerce products from GameStop, but a worldwide focus. Um, you know, she's got a degree in finance from Wuhan in China, and she's got uh, uh, advanced business degrees from the London School of Business. And so uh, in her previous uh, positions, she was in charge of global strategies and global finance for, for big companies. And so that sort of a perspective brought to GameStop is only going to be an asset for Ryan Cohen, the rest of the board, the CEO going forward. Now, you know, obviously there's a lot of push to make Ryan Cohen the CEO, and that could be. It could be something that happens in the future. But frankly, even though Sherman hasn't done that good of a job in the last few years, let's be 
uh, frank about it, he's been pretty open to, at least from the outside looking in, he's been fairly open to what has happened since Ryan Cohen uh, became a major investor in GameStop. I mean, all of the moves that they've made have been with Ryan Cohen there and George Sherman uh, still as the CEO. So does he get bumped out? Maybe, maybe not. Remember, he's going to be on the board uh, according to the slate that they're going to put up um, uh, after the um, annual meeting if the shareholders choose to reelect him to the board. So it's an interesting dynamic that's happening right now where, again, we've got this continuation, sort of a slow drip, 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 drip of information that shows the transformation that Cohen and the group he's putting together are really making for GameStop. So how did the market react? You know, this uh, came out early. It came out pre-market today and uh, expectedly, probably predictably so. Pre-market, shares of uh, GameStop jumped. They were up a little bit. Uh, and then at the beginning of the market, it sort of jumped up. I think it was up 6 or $7 uh, at the most today. But then it sort of flattened and it trailed off and it's been basically sideways for the rest of the day. Now, you know, some people would look at that and say, oh my gosh, it didn't pop. It didn't go up on the news of Ryan Cohen being the chairman of the board. What's going wrong? What's happening? But it, that's just not the case. That's, you know, the FUD setting in for some people. But the fact of the matter is that if we're at $180 or $170 a share, for GameStop and it just trades sideways or it trades within, you know, five to 7% up or down each day for a long time. That's a good thing because it sets that resistance for that share price. So hopefully that's going to build in not dropping back down to the forties and the thirties and the $20 share prices like we've seen uh, in the past when it would whipsaw up and whipsaw down. So if we're building in resistance at the 170, 175, 180, uh, share price, that's only going to lead to future growth in the share price as the transformation actually happens. Keep in mind that GameStop right now is a $13 billion market cap and it was down uh, at a billion dollars or less uh, just uh, less than a year ago. So these things are great turnaround prospects. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Comment, leave a, a, a comment or a question about your thoughts. Is Ryan Cohen being named a chairman uh, after the annual shareholders meeting? Is that a good thing? Is that all we need or do we really need him to be the CEO as well? Also, let me know what you think about the two new board members that have been nominated uh, for election to the board. Do you think that Larry Cheng being an early investor in Chewy is going to bode well uh, for him working with GameStop? And do you think that Yang Zhu's um, experience and perspective in global finance and global growth is going to help GameStop? Or do you think it doesn't really matter because GameStop is going to go to the moon no matter what they do or what we do? So leave a comment. Let me know. I'm interested in knowing your thoughts on the subject. And also do me a favor before we get out of here. If you've learned anything from this video or been entertained at all, smash the like button for me, hit the subscribe button, ring that little notification bell. It really helps us to grow the channel and we appreciate your help in building this community and we'll see you in the next video.